Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over e-filing a USCIS form, which includes verifying information on the e-filing miscellaneous fields, which is needed to e-file. This applies to all USCIS forms, excluding the I-90, the I-130, and the N-400, which will be discussed in another video. Let us log into our caseworker portal. The first thing we want to do is download the e-filing application, which allows communication from our software onto government sites like the USCIS, Department of State, Department of Labor, or other. To download the e-filing application, go to the Tools section on the left and select e-filing. You will see a Launch button to download, and once downloaded, you will install it to your computer. Once downloaded, you should be able to find it on your computer as Serenade ECMS eFiler. Please note that this application is PC-based, which means you must have a PC computer to use it. If you have a Mac, there are third-party solutions such as Parallels or Amazon Workspaces that allow you to have a remote PC desktop on your Mac computer, which would then allow you to use the eFiler. Also, please note that you only need to download the eFiler once. If you have it downloaded already, then you can move forward with the next part of e-filing, which will be explained in this video. Now that we have the e-filing application downloaded and installed, the next step is to locate an already completed form. Let us go into a case profile. From inside the cases, go to the form section. For this video, we will use an already completed form, meaning you've gone in, added info, and saved information. However, if you wish to add and work on a form, you can do so by clicking on the Add Form button and from there proceeding to input information on the form. Once we have our form completed, we will first want to lock the form on the left to ensure no one makes any changes on the form during the e-filing process. Then to the right, you will see an e-filing column where it will mark the status as ready and a schedule button. This schedule button is what will send the form to the e-filing application we just downloaded. Let us click on the schedule button. A pop-up box will appear called e-filing miscellaneous fields. This box must be completed to ensure that every field transfers properly during the e-filing process. We will click on next. We will go question by question ensuring the information appears properly, filling out what is needed. If we click on the show mandatory only checkbox, it will only list questions you need to guarantee everything e-files properly. If you uncheck it, it will show any extra questions you wish to add additional information. You will also see subtext in red to help you identify what answer you put on the form. Once you've gone through the questions and finished verifying the information, you will click on Save and Schedule. In doing so, you have scheduled the form to the e-filing application and the status will now show as scheduled. Now that we have a scheduled form, let us proceed to find the e-filing application on your computer. Let us launch the application. The first thing asked is your URL. This is a distinct URL given to each account which can be found in the area you downloaded the e-filer. You will proceed by logging in. You will then be asked to enter your caseworker portal credentials. These are the same credentials you use to log into e-immigration or ECMS. Proceed with logging in. You are now logged into the e-filer and you will see your scheduled forms to the left. If we click on the form, we will then be taken onto the USAIS website. You will be asked to input either your attorney credentials or the credentials of your client. You will then be emailed a verification code. Input that code to be able to log in. Once logged in, you will click on File a Form Online. If you do not see it, navigate through the USAIS site to find the area to file a form online. You will then be asked to select the form. Select the USAS form you scheduled. You will then see a set of instructions from the USCIS. After reading them, proceed to click on the Start button. You are now inside the e-fileable form. This means the Populate Data button has appeared on the right. By clicking it, it will proceed to start populating data on the form online. You will go page by page clicking on the Populate Data button, ensuring the data is transferred properly. In areas asking for supporting documents, you can upload documents directly from within the e-filer. If you would like to also e-file a G28 form, on the description of this video, we have a link showing you how to add a G28 form onto a USCIS form that is asking for it. Once you are done e-filing the form, the last thing you want to do is click on Mark as Complete. 
you'll be asked to enter a reference number, and once clicking Mark as Complete, the form will disappear from the list of scheduled forms in the eFiler. If we go back into the form section of the case profile, we will see the status as completed, the reference number you inserted, and lastly, the completion date. You have successfully e-filed the form. This concludes our video on e-filing a USAS form which asks for miscellaneous fields to be completed.